I know a lot of guys today who aren't really living. What they're doing is surviving. They're just making it week to week. They're overwhelmed and, and the stress of life makes them get into what I call the survivor mode. Now, the thing about the survivor mode is time keeps on going. But what guys do is they just say, well, let me wake it to the weekend. Let me get to, to vacation. Or, or the saying that so many people say, well, when things slow down, <laughs> which they won't, have they ever slowed down? No. And what we have to do as men is we have to pick our priorities. We have to choose what's going to be a priority in my life. And what I'm going to do today is show you how to pick your priorities. Hey guys, I'm David Maxwell, men's coach. I like to cook. I do. It's one of my favorite things to do. I love finding new recipes and, and cooking them and, and serving them to people. It's just a lot of fun for me. Now, when you cook, it is important to follow the recipe. Why? Well, if you put the wrong thing in, it's not going to taste good. You know, it does matter whether you use sugar or salt. It makes a big difference in how good a cake is. And if I just throw stuff in without knowing what I'm doing or guessing or just saying, oh, this looks right, usually it's going to turn out nasty. So what I want to do today when it comes to priorities is I'm going to show you three keys to your priorities. Your living priorities. You need to choose your priorities and you live meaningfully with priorities. Okay, the first thing we're going to talk about is the fact that you're living priorities. You're already living with priorities in your life as a man. You've already chosen them. You see, the way you live is based on a set of priorities. Now, these priorities are either yours or someone else's. And the thing is with a lot of men is if they don't have their own priorities, they're going to live based on pressure from outside priorities. They're going to live based on what, well, so-and-so said this is the way to live, or so-and-so said this is the way to live. And what happens to us as men is we start to conform to other people's priorities, what other people want in our life. And this is why we see so many men today who are just basically carbon copies of each other. They dress the same, they talk the same, they do all these things the same. Why? Because they don't have their own priorities. They don't know who they are as a man. And they've lost direction as men. You see, the thing about men is every man is unique. And part of the joy of being a man is figuring out who you are. You're not the same as any other man. You're different. You grow and, and you change and you develop. And that's the beauty of men is we can do that. But if we're just following other people, will never reach our fullest potential. For you as a man, you don't have to live someone else's life. You can discover and live your own. Hey guys, if you've seen guys live other people's priorities instead of their own, let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you've seen and how it's manifested in guys' lives. Okay, the second key is that you choose priorities. Now, priorities don't happen by accident. You have to pick them. Now, you can do it deliberate. You can make that conscious choice, or you cannot make it consciously and just follow what other people do. You see, as a man, you've got to make choices. And life is full of choices. Like in the morning, you, you wake up and you're like, okay, do I want Frosted Flakes or Captain Crunch? You make choices every day. But a lot of men today, they're avoiding choices. They're avoiding picking the priorities. And what they're doing is they're living a life of denial. They think, well, it's no big deal. But they're losing themselves. They're getting lost in other worlds. They're going and living in virtual worlds. And they're not discovering who they are as men. And so they get into that survivor mode. And they never really reach their full potential. A lot of guys are afraid of choice because they're afraid of choosing wrong. They're saying, what if I choose the wrong thing? And so what happens is they become prisoners of their own fear. 
They're, they're so scared of choosing that they chain themselves up. You don't want to be that way. You want to make the choice to be the man you were designed to be. Hey guys, speaking of choice, why don't you take a second and choose to subscribe to this channel. It's a community of men who want to be better, who want to be empowered and live their full potential. So join us, click the button and subscribe. All right, the third key to priorities is to understand that you live meaningfully with priorities. You see, priorities have to be something beyond you. And when they're beyond you, you live a more meaningful life. You see, selfish actions, they're not really priorities. They're just pleasure seeking or insecurity of a guy acting out. You've seen it. Selfish men, they don't grow. They live, they live like they're always looking at a mirror at their own existence. You don't want to be that man. If you live selfishly, you're not going to make a positive impact. You're going to hurt others. You know, it's kind of like trying to find something to watch. Have you ever done that? And you just sit there and scan, 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 and you never end up watching anything because there's so much stuff there. Many guys, they fill their lives with so much stuff so they don't have to realize that they're not really living with a purpose. They're not really living out important priorities. They're just busy. What you want to do is find a priority that's bigger than yourself, and you'll add meaning to your life. Hey guys, don't forget to check out the Confident Man podcast. It's a weekly podcast that will help you grow as a man. It's my way of helping you each week. I recently had a friend who started prioritizing his health. And what he did is he started picking and, and he started choosing what he needed to do with his health, his, his nutrition, his exercise, all those things. And what it did was it got him to a point where he started choosing other things in his life. And he realized that the job he had, he didn't really like. And so what did he do? He changed jobs. And he grew as a man. And he's becoming a better man today because he started prioritizing in his life. Gentlemen, start finding your priorities. Start living them out each day. Start choosing. Start going on that journey. We need men of priorities. And you can be one.